hey do you know what a video game console needs to be successful hey, it needs great games now where can you get this at the ps4 the xbox one and eh, not so much if you really want the greatest games this generation so far the only place to go to besides pc gaming is the wii u what nintendo how can that be a good system with good games it's last place in the console generation being number three does not mean your console sucks now let's talk about last generation the wii was the best selling console by far does that mean the wii was the best console hell no hell no it wasn't it was not the best console but the wii sold the most it's funny how ps fans can be like that doesn't mean shit your console sold the most doesn't mean it was better this generation my console sold the most so it's better it doesn't make any fucking sense it's not better it's a waste of money at least for me i wasted my money on the ps4 and i never use it except for netflix but this video is about the wii u yes the wii u let's talk about the games that you can get for this great system now and in the future now let's start super smash brothers who doesn't know what super smash Brothers is everyone should know what super smash Bros. is what is it it's a fighting game with of what with what characters nintendo franchises and other gaming franchises that have been abandoned and nintendo is resurrecting like pac-man mega man it's the kind of game that's that just celebrates gaming by kicking other gaming characters asses that's all that's all it's about kick their asses that's all it's about you need super smash Bros. tons of dlc that's worth the price tons of stages great fun gameplay funny how there's no adventure mode oh well next you got splatoon splatoon what the fuck is splatoon it's a fucking shooter nintendo a shooter can you kill people and eh, maybe it's you use ink you're a, a squid and you fight other squids in multiplayer but in online but campaign you fight octopies an octopus but yes the multiplayer it is smooth it's great matches come fast they're three minutes long you can have tons of matches in one sitting it's not, it doesn't stop being fun it's it's not even about getting kills it's about covering the place in fucking ink and see who gets the most but you can kill people it is great fun there's so many ways to upgrade your characters it's amazing you better get it it's oh, it's an amazing new ip from nintendo nintendo still has it they can still make great ips they got vroom, mario kart 8 what does it do different and eh, not not too much it adds zero gravity which is f-zero but but it's, it's a fun game it looks great and the dlc is amazing it's lots of bang for your buck you want to play as legend of zelda link links are here he's driving carts got a bike the mario kart 8 is great fun it looks great going online it's easy it's smooth it's fine go get it now the other consoles all they have are just re rehashes and remakes that's all they fucking that's all they fucking do well People say Nintendo does it all the time. Nintendo only has one, and it's The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, which some people say is the best Zelda game of all time. Personally, to me, I don't really think so, but it is a great game, and it looks, it looks really good on the Wii U, and I shouldn't have to explain what Zelda is. You should, you should know what it is. If, if you like Wind Waker, go get it. It's HD. Super Mario 3D World. It's, it's Mario, and it's uh, kind of a 2.5 world, but it, it's, it's 3D, apparently, and... It's it's great fun, especially with four players. It's hectic. It's amazing. Kill your friends, but still work together to beat the level. But do it better than they did. It's a great game. It's you got cat suits. Who doesn't want to be a cat? Kitty cats. And you got new Super Mario Brothers. You kind of the same as all the other new Super Mario Bros. games, but HD. And then you got a new Super Luigi Bros. You. It's pretty much the same game, but harder and less time to finish the levels it's more it's more like a speed run game with luigi hyrule warriors oh, i love this game i love hyrule warriors it's amazing there's so much content it's i i, I haven't even completed the game there's too much there's too much fucking content it's so fucking fun some people say it gets repetitive oh they suck but for me it's it, it it's it's great gotta get it bayonetta 2 fucking girl witch who Powers, clothes, naked demons, you know, it's, it's, it's all the fun you want. It's the only pretty much mature title on 
the Wii U as of right now, but it looks great. It is fun. And not only do you get Bayonetta 2, it comes with Bayonetta 1. What more could you be asking? You get two games, price of one. Bayonetta, Naked Witch, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. It's a puzzle game. Okay, it's a puzzle game, but it's fun. It's a fun puzzle game. The Mario Universe, you can't jump, but it's great. It's amazingly fun. Captain Toad. Lots of lots of missions, lots of interesting puzzles. Some are very difficult, but it's very awesome. Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. Yes, Donkey Kong Country, a, a title that is so underappreciated. I don't know why. Why is this game so underappreciated? Every aspect of this game is gorgeous. The visuals, the gameplay, the music, the boss fights are extremely well done. Only the best Kong members are here. Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Cranky Kong. Oh, and then we got Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is a very forgotten title of the Wii U. It came out early in the console's life, and for some reason it's very forgotten, but it's great. It's Pikmin. Throw them around, but then feel heartbroken when you see them get killed, when you leave them behind at nighttime. It's painful to watch. I can't stand it. Why is it so sad seeing my Pikmin be murdered at nighttime when I leave them, knowing it's my fault why they died? But it's a great game nonetheless. It's it's very challenging and ah, oh, they said Pikmin 4 is coming out too. NES Remix. It's Nintendo games from the NES with different challenges and kind of easy, but it gets harder eventually. Uh, it's great if you love old games. It's fun. I I don't know how to explain it. It's it's fun. There, whatever. Doctor Luigi. It's Dr. Mario with Luigi, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. It's Kirby, uh, you move him around with a rainbow. I don't really know, but it looks fun and I guess it didn't do so well because I don't remember hearing about it too much when it came out. I didn't even know it came out yet, but it came out a while back and I'll get it someday. And on a serious note, why is Kirby always involved? with all the gimmicky titles. When there's a gimmick, who do we use? Kirby! Now here's here's some games I have never played and I don't know if I ever will. These games also come highly recommended because I've heard there are great titles. Mario Party, it's Mario and a bunch of Mario characters on a board game in a video game. I really don't know how this franchise got popular, but if you like it, here's the 10th one for you. Nintendo Land, it's a bunch of mini games with based off Nintendo franchises. It looks kind of fun. Zombie U, used to be an exclusive game for the Wii U, now coming out on other consoles, but if you want the original version, here you go. It looks kind of fun, it's kind of hard. It looks, it could be scary, I don't know, I never played it. Wonderful 101, I really have no idea what the fuck this game is. I have no clue just looking at it. But I've heard it's good, and I'd say give it a shot. Monster Hunter 3, it's a ultimate, and it's a place where you hunt monsters. And apparently it's a very popular franchise. I've never played it. It just doesn't look for me, but I've heard it's good, so maybe give it a shot. Sonic Lost World, oh, modern Sonic games suck ass. But this one actually looks pretty good. It looks better than Sonic Boom. But then again, that's not saying much, but this game does look better. I do want it. I will get it eventually, someday, hopefully. Now those are just what's out now. Well, what about the future? Is there anything coming out for this system? Yes, there are games coming out for the future. And let's start with one that just recently came out. It's called Super Mario Maker. Oh fucking yeah. If you love 2D Mario games, this is, a, this is your wet dream right here. Mario Maker, create Mario stages, shit. The first week, there's already been one million stages uploaded, and we're just getting started. There's tons of great levels, evil levels, strange levels, fucking scary, what the fuck kind of levels. It's amazing if you love 2D Mario. Yoshi's Woolly World, oh yeah, who doesn't like Yoshi? Yoshi's so cute, but now he's made out of yarn, and like Kirby's epic yarn, but now it's Yoshi though. And there's two players, and it looks fun, but cute and easy, but still looks like fun. I can't wait to play it. I'm gonna get it. So I can't wait. Oh, look at Yoshi. He's so cute, and now he's so, he's so woolly, so woolly. Xenoblade Chronicles ah, X. 
It's an RPG that looks like it's pushing the system very much well to its limits, and it looks flipping amazing. I, it's just, it's, oh man, if this was coming on the PS4, it would get so much praise. But since it's on Nintendo, people are trying to overlook it. It looks great, and I definitely recommend getting this game, even if you don't like it, because it's gonna be hard to find. I guarantee it. Oh, Star Fox Zero. We just heard it's been delayed till 2016. Oh, but Star Fox Zero. Finally a Star Fox game. Finally a proper Star Fox game. People have been complaining that we don't like what you're doing with Star Fox. Give us like Star Fox 64 and now you get it. Now people are complaining that it looks too much like Star Fox 64. You're damned if you do and if you're damned if you don't. But the game looks great. I plan on getting it day one in 2016. Devil's Third, I, th I think it's come out in Europe and getting mixed bad reviews, but from what I've seen, it looks fun somewhat, and the multiplayer looks great, I, I, I haven't, looks better than Call of Duty, that says it all, doesn't it? Sure, he looks, the main character looks a little silly, it's a bald guy with tattoos, and he's not that cool looking, but the gameplay, hack and slash, shooters, looks fun to me, and I will get it. And now, the Wii U's killer app. Eventually, Zelda U or The Legend of Zelda U, whatever you want to call it, it looks amazing. Open world Zelda, finally a game that's like Legend of Zelda, the original on the NES, where you're not limited about what you can do and where you can go and when you want to do it. You can do whatever you want. It's like Skyrim, but better because it's Zelda. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's Mario Tennis. You know, if you don't love Mario sports. The hell's wrong with you? Mario sports are always fun, and this is Mario Tennis. Tennis is one of the best Mario sports. I kind of wish they had Mario Hockey. I don't know why they don't, but they should. But Mario Tennis, I'm going to definitely pick this game up. Day one. All these, most of these games are day one pickups for me, if you haven't noticed. Now, here's a game for you. Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem. I don't even know if I said that right. But here's a game for you. It's animes and school outfits and swords and girls and school outfits j-pop and i really have no idea what the fuck this game is i know where fire emblem is what the fuck is shin megami tensei and it's oh god i have no idea i just look at it blows my mind i have no idea what the fuck i'm looking at uh so let's move on fatal frame made in the black water it's a horror game, yay! It's it's Fatal Frame, yay! It, it, it's perfect because the Wii U gamepad is like a camera. That makes sense. Big problem though, it's only digital here in America. Oh, I don't want to download the whole big file on my hard drive. I don't have that much space, anyways. You want me to fuck it all up with that game? If it wasn't for that, I would say day one buy. But luckily, the first chapter is free to download. So you can try it out and see if you like it, and maybe then you could buy it. Hoping it does well and maybe they'll re-release it physical as so I can get it. Now here's a game that's been rumored by Shigeru Miyamoto apparently and he says it's been in production and it's almost done but I haven't heard much about it except for that one link. But it's Pikmin 4 and like I said Pikmin 3 was very underlooked or not very remembered for some reason but Pikmin 3 was great and so I expect Pikmin 4 to be just as good. See, now those all the titles you can get and you can see what's coming to the Wii U in the short in the very near future the Wii U is the only logical way to go besides PC gaming for all your gaming needs all you need is a gaming PC and a Wii U you don't need anything else you don't need the overrated PS4 that has nothing on it but remasters and you don't need the cable box let me watch you spy on you one you don't need that shit both consoles are a joke <laughs> and I'm sorry third parties games do not make me want to buy a console I can play that on PC the Wii U is where it is at and is where it's gonna be at until the next generation when Nintendo is gonna blow our minds again no like I said just because it's the lowest in sales out of all of them doesn't mean it's the worst if you look at the quality of the games the PS4 and the Xbox one can't even match up to its library. It's really pathetic and it's really sad. And people always say, the Wii U's got nothing on there. Have you looked at the PS4 and Xbox One library? You're crazy if you really believe the Wii U has less games than both of those. People always say Nintendo is nothing but rehashes, but yet every game being released for the PS4 and Xbox One 
Remaster of this. HD remaster. HD rem HD. That's all you guys fucking do now. The Wii U only has one. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And I guess you, you can count the first Bayonetta. Other than that, nothing else is, is the re-release. Everything is brand new. For the first time. Boom. Or just new entries in a series. It's not rehashing. This is the best console of this generation. It's amazing. And I will tell you, the gamepad is not uncomfortable to hold. It's not an N64 controller. It's actually good. All right, I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video for me, but I really want to show off the Wii U and its games and show you why and what you're missing out on. It's time to get a Wii U. And I hope to see you on Smash Brothers, Splatoon, Mario Kart, and I hope to see you make stages for Super Mario Maker. I hope to see you again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.